to certain jobs because of my complexion. And it was just something that, you know, was, you know, you just dealt with it. It was, you know, you just. To walk into these rooms and sit with white folks and, and try to get them to understand and, and fighting and battling with them and then come out and then have us saying, oh, he's a coon and a buffoon. Why is niggas still got on a dress? What? Seems like that Tyler Perry hook is refusing to budge. Every day there's a fresh face dishing out piping hot tea. And right now, all the buzz is about Tashina Arnold. She's gearing up to spill some serious secrets that could be a game changer for Tyler's glittering career. Now, we all know Tyler Perry is a heavyweight in the entertainment biz, building his own empire and all. So if Tashina Arnold is waving the scandal flag, it's got to be something seriously major, maybe even more scandalous than we can imagine. Word on the street is that Tashina's bombshell could be a career ender for Tyler, leaving people scratching their heads. What could Tyler have done to rattle the canceled culture and potentially wreck the legacy he's built? Sure, Tyler Perry is no industry lightweight, but if Tashina Arnold's got the goods, it's bound to be a blockbuster revelation. A lot of people uh, in the costume and makeup and hair uh, industry, they were all white. Let me break down the Tashina Arnold situation for you. Tashina isn't some new face in Hollywood. She's been rocking the scene for ages. This talented actress made a name for herself with killer performances in movies and TV shows. Remember the classic show Martin? Tashina was the powerhouse behind the lively character Pamela James, making the show a hit. And don't forget Everybody Hates Chris, where she nailed the tough yet funny Rochelle Rock, earning major props for her acting skills. But Tashina is more than just Hollywood glamour. She's a legend not only for her talent, but also for her enduring career. Beyond acting, she's an advocate for diversity and more opportunities for black actors in the industry. Now here's the real deal. Tashina Arnold is facing some challenges. Even with all her fame, we're talking about being underpaid. She's not keeping quiet about it. She's out here advocating for better health care, fair residuals, and equal treatment for black actors. Tashina isn't just talking. She's actively pushing for serious changes shining a spotlight on Hollywood's dirty laundry, the issue of famous actors getting underpaid. Now, let's shift gears to Tyler Perry. Remember Monique a few months back? She didn't hold back at the Apollo Theater, going after Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, and Oprah Winfrey. Accusations were flying about being unfairly sidelined from Hollywood. Monique spent over a decade calling them out, claiming they worked together to blackball her for not doing promotional press for the 2009 film Precious. The beef kicked off when Oprah and Tyler wanted Monique to hit the press circuit for the film without any paycheck. Monique said nah, not in her contract. She only got a measly 50000 for the whole movie, which wasn't enough. They wanted her to promote the film worldwide for free. But Monique wasn't having it. Oprah and Tyler didn't take her refusal well. Instead, they started trashing her reputation in the industry. Monique spilled the tea saying Tyler Perry told her to consider promoting the film because if she got nominated for an Oscar, her next film would pay millions. Monique, being a black woman, questioned where those salaries were coming from and straight up told Tyler she can't work for free. Remember when I said earlier, I've never seen so many cowards and black men in this business. I would have to put my brother Tyler Perry in that. According to Monique, it all started when she turned down a request to fly to France for the Cannes Film Festival to promote the movie Precious. The movie studio initially asked her to go, but with her busy schedule as a talk show host, comedian, and family woman, Monique respectfully declined. They tried to sweeten the deal by offering to upgrade her hotel room, but she and her husband stuck to their guns saying no. We're going to spend this time with our family. When the third call came and they asked what would it take to get Monique to France, her husband asked straightforwardly, is there a number associated with it? That's when they dropped the bomb that they would never pay anyone to do promotions for a movie. Monique revealed she was paid a mere $50,000 for Precious. And it wasn't about the money, she did it with a friend. When the movie studio refused to pay for her can appearance, reports started flying painting Monique as demanding and difficult. Monique asked for an apology from Oprah and Tyler Perry, but as far as we know, it's still MIA. Even 50 Cent backed up Monique questioning Tyler Perry about her cancellation. Tyler's response was, I never told no one not to work with her, but 50 Cent hit him with real talk saying, but you're Tyler Perry, and you never told anyone to. 
People are comparing Monique's story to what Tanisha Arnold was fired up about. Why wouldn't Tyler Perry and his crew want to pay fair wages for Monique's hard work instead of messing with her career? Tanisha, supposedly an industry insider, is spilling the beans on how Tyler might be the mastermind behind these shenanigans. Tyler Perry, no stranger to the spotlight, rocked the Atlanta theater scene and hit the jackpot with his Medea series. However, this journey hasn't been a walk in the park. Rumor has it that his ego might have gotten out of control, leading to clashes even with heavyweights like Oprah and Hollywood. In the tough world of Hollywood, sometimes you've got to play a few questionable cards to make it big, and Tyler Perry seems to know the drill. After success at the box office, Tyler Perry made his way to TV with the hit sitcom House of Pain. However, when it came to scoring a sweet syndication deal and a spinoff named Meet the Browns, things got messy. Perry gave the boot to four writers asking for union contracts, stirring up drama in the industry, and it wasn't a good look. But Tyler Perry's journey doesn't stop there. He's faced various accusations, such as abruptly firing writers, casting stereotypical characters, and perpetuating harmful stereotypes about black women. After the success of House of Pain and Meet the Browns, cultural critic Jalem wrote an open letter to Tyler Perry published by NPR, expressing her concerns about how he used stereotypes in his work. Lemieux specifically mentioned the portrayal of Mother Deer, a beloved matriarch played by a six-foot-three man with prosthetic breasts, questioning if our mothers and grandmothers deserve more respectful representation. She acknowledged Perry's defiance against the Hollywood old guard, but pointed out that some black individuals shared similar concerns about his work as white critics. Film director Spike Lee also joined the critique, calling out Perry for the stereotypical characters in his movies. Lee expressed that the industry could do better by moving away from one-dimensional characters in Perry's record-breaking but, in his words, biased and nonsensical movies. Perry's casting choices and character portrayals have sparked discussions about his entire business approach. Some argue that he tends to cast dark-skinned actors as villains while portraying white characters as heroes in his films. Even Chris Rock observed a pattern in Perry's movies, noting a lack of kind and respectful black-skinned boyfriends, suggesting a need for more variety in character representation. The controversy doesn't end there. Monique, in a public spat with Perry, claimed she was paid only $50,000 for her role in Precious. This revelation triggered a series of events, including accusations of unfair treatment and blackballing within Hollywood. Monique asked for an apology from both Oprah and Tyler Perry, which has yet to materialize. Even filmmaker 50 Cent backed up Monique's claims, questioning Tyler Perry about her cancellation. This public dispute has raised questions about fairness and equality within the entertainment industry. Like, Monique, why is she canceled? Mm -hmm. gotcha. I had to revisit that because it was like, it didn't make sense to me, baby. I'm like, so what did she do? She said something you didn't like? like? So she didn't work for 13 years after that? Right. And then I, I know Tyler wouldn't support that. Tyler Perry's movies also face scrutiny for perpetuating certain biases. Some critics argue that his storytelling choices contribute to the success of his films at the expense of nuanced portrayals. The casting of dark-skinned actors in villain roles, as highlighted by Chris Rock, raises concerns about limited representations in Perry's movies. The discussion extends to Hollywood's historical challenges for black actors. Blair Underwood, known for his long-standing career, recounted the limited roles for black actors in the 80s, emphasizing the struggles faced by actors like Denzel Washington. Even today, concern persists about creative control and opportunities for black and brown female writers and directors in the industry. Tyler Perry's adaptation of For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough faced criticism for its portrayal of black women. Some argue that Perry's works inadvertently reinforced the idea that respectability politics is the only path to happiness and success for his characters. The topic of black men wearing dresses in films, a reoccurring theme in Tyler Perry's work, has also been discussed. Comedian Dave Chappelle questioned the industry's tendency to have black actors, including himself, play female characters. Chappelle shared his experience of being asked to wear a dress in a movie, highlighting the pressure on black artists to conform for success. Critics are not letting Tyler Perry off the hook despite his significant contributions to the black community. They urge a more thoughtful and responsible approach to storytelling, addressing concerns about the portrayal of black women and the perpetuation of certain stereotypes in his movies. 
As the discussion grows, many are starting to question whether Hollywood would benefit from a shift away from influential figures like Tyler Perry, prompting a reevaluation of the industry's practices. But what's your take on this unfolding drama? Drop your thoughts in the comments section. And while we eagerly await further developments, be sure to check out our other videos for a dose of the latest entertainment gossip.